Today I will explain how to make equations of a operational amplifier circuit. First I will tell you two rules then I will make the equation of three types of op-amp circuit using those two rules. Two rules which I am going to tell you are applicable for linear operation of operational amplifier, not for comparator circuit. First rule is the voltage of negative input is always equal to voltage of positive input. If this is 2 volt, voltage at this point also will be 2 volt. If this is 5 volt, voltage at negative terminal also will be 5 volt. If this is VR, voltage at this point also will become VR. So first we have to calculate voltage at this point, then voltage at this point also will be equal to this voltage. If here there is a voltage divider, voltage VR can be calculated using this equation. Second rule is current flowing here will be equal to current flowing here. This current and this current will be equal. If this is single input, this current and this current are equal. But if here, suppose there are two inputs like this, then the current in this register and current in this register total together will be equal to this. This is second rule. So first we will calculate the voltage at this point. Then as per first rule, voltage at this point will be equal to this voltage. Then as per second rule, we will calculate the current here and here. And this total current will be equal to this current. Now we will find the equation of the circuit using those two rules. According to first rule, voltage at this point will be equal to this voltage. If this is VR, voltage at this point also will become VR. Now second rule, we will calculate current here, current here and we will make both current equal. To calculate the current, I explain here. Suppose there is a register and voltage at this point is V1, voltage at this point is V2, then voltage difference across this register is V1 by V2. And the current flowing in this will be equal to voltage across this V1 minus V2 divided by this resistance R as per Ohm's law. The same method we will use here. The current flowing in this will be equal to this voltage minus this voltage Vr. This is V1 minus this is Vr divided by this resistance R1. So this is the current flowing here. This will be equal to current flowing in this. Here current flowing will be equal to voltage across this. That is Vr minus V0. Vr minus V0 divided by R. This is the voltage across this register. So this is the current flowing here. This is the current flowing here. Both current are equal. Now we get an equation and using simple mathematics we can solve this equation and find the correlation between V0 and V1. Now this is second circuit. We have two inputs in this circuit. Now again we will use those two rules. First is whatever voltage here same thing will come here means voltage of this point will be Vr if this is Vr. Second rule is this total current will be equal to this current. If one register is there, this current will be equal to this. If two register, then this current plus this current will be equal to this current. 
Now first we will calculate this current. This current will be equal to this voltage minus this voltage divided by R1. That is this. V1 minus Vr divided by R1. Now this current will be V2 minus Vr divided by R2. This one. V2 minus Vr divided by R2. If current we have to calculate in this register, then we will divide by this register value. If we current we are calculating here, then this division will be this value. Now this current is this. This current is this. We will add these two and these two will be equal to what? Current flowing in this, which will be equal to this voltage. Vr minus this voltage V0 divided by this register R. You got the equation. You can simplify using simple mathematics. You will know the relation between V0 and V1 and V2. Now here I have written Vr. This itself can be input. Then also no problem. I told you First we have to calculate the voltage of this plus. So whatever input is here, from that you have to calculate this voltage. Then this voltage will come here. And then this equation will be made like this. Now we will find the equation of the circuit using those two rules. In this third circuit, I have added one capacitor here. Now according to first rule, which I told you, voltage of this point will be equal to this voltage. If this is Vr, then voltage at this point becomes equal to Vr. Now second rule, we will calculate current here, current here, and then both current will be equal. Now this current will be equal to V1 minus Vr, V1 minus Vr divided by this resistance R1. This is the current flowing here. This current will be equal to this current. Now this current will be equal to voltage across this divided by this. Now voltage across this will be Vr this voltage minus V0 this voltage divided by now here because R and C both are there then we call it impedance so impedance of this will be this plus this this is R plus and impedance of C is 1 by C S here I have written in S function so this becomes the current flowing here, this becomes the current flowing here, both are equal. Now using mathematics, we have to solve this equation and we can find the correlation between V0 and V1. Today we will close now.